What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about the top five squeeze stocks to add to your watch list for this upcoming week. So I'm going to go over all those, but first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, let's get right to it. Data points. This upcoming week, CPI is coming out on Tuesday. So if positive, you are going to see a whole new level of FOMO in the broader market, especially going into next week. You do see the fear and greed index at 78. So naturally, the market is wanting to propel stocks higher. So if positive data does come out, you are going to see all-time highs on many, many stocks. Aside from that, though, there is also retail sales coming out on Thursday and PPI on Friday. Companies unveiling the earnings, there's a couple of good ones to kind of watch for. There's Shopify, there's Barrick, and then as well, DraftKings. But aside from that, though, I think it's just going to be more so the data points that's going to take priority on whether the market is going to propel higher or lower. That's just my own opinion, of course. So I'm going to go over the top five plus one bonus stock i'm going to be going based on the actual short interest percentage not the short score so just kind of be aware of that stock number five is biomea fusion and just for transparency i have actually vetted a lot of these stocks just to ensure that they haven't done any reverse stock splits because that does skew a lot of the numbers behind the scenes but biomea fusion ticker is bmea over the last one year it is up 85.34 percent in 2024 up 26 6.24% and this is what they are all about so you can always pause it read through it and whatever else but as far as what shorts did on Friday they increased 153.31 thousand shares 52.33% of the free float is being shorted and 10.05 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is relatively low so 6.02% and utilization is 74.32% so let me know your thoughts on that stock moving on to stock number four Novavax uh, ticker is NVAX. So on Friday, this did go up 6.33%. Over the last one year, though, it's down 58.79%. And year to date, so 2024, it is down 16.04%. And this is what they are all about right here. So you can always just pause it, read through it once again. On a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as recent press releases, SEC filings, transcripts, and fireside chats, everything that you need to know about any company, take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium. I do have a seven day free trial for you in the description below and also the comments so take advantage of that but moving on though shorts did increase about 331.56 thousand shares on friday 52.12 percent of the free flow is being shorted 54.25 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is a little bit higher in this stock uh, so 43.73 percent and utilization is at 100 percent and this is the short score that i was mentioning so i'm going based on the short interest which is a percentage and then the short score is the higher the number the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening just when it comes down to i guess doing top fives for the short score they don't really change and they haven't changed for a while so this is why i'm kind of flip-flopping a little bit between the short score and the short interest every single week just to kind of mix it up but the short score on this is 84.98 percent if you do have any questions about any of this let me know in the comments below I can definitely address a lot of that as far as uh, available shares through interactive brokers short availability does indicate that there is zero shares available going into this upcoming week so things could get very interesting for that moving on to stock number three B Riley Financial, tickers R-I-L-Y. So this one's definitely been on and off this list for a while now, but on Friday went up 2.2% on the one year, down 53.07, and in 2024, down 11.62. This is what they are all about. Still very much popular with retail, so I still see quite a lot of, I guess, tweets and whatever else about this company, but the short interest. So right now, shorts did return about 15,000 shares on Friday, 65.84% of the free flow is being shorted, 10.71 million shares overall are being shorted, and cost of borrow average is 57.1%. Through interactive broker, short availability does indicate around 9,000 shares is available to be shorted. So a lot of these stocks, uh, shorts are overextended. So of course, with some broader FOMO and whatever else, you could see higher highs. Moving on to good old stock number two, this one is Seal SQ Corp, if I'm saying that right, tickers LAES. Over the last one year, 
Actually, it looks like it's been trading less than one year. So in 2024, it's doing fairly well, up 89.84%. And over the last six months, down 76.63%. So I guess a good year for 2024. But aside from that, though, this is what they are all about. So again, just pause it, read through it. And on Friday, shorts didn't really do all that much. They returned about 299 shares. That is it. 66.53% of the free flow is being shorted. 938,000 shares over all are being shorted cost of our average is a little bit higher with this stock so 269.89 percent and 81.38 percent is that utilization through interactive brokers a short availability doesn't look like it's populating right now um, but again definitely this stock is very heavily shorted moving on to stock number one so i think this one is everyone's favorite Bolero tickers B O W L. I did really have to double check this one once I go over the short interest because yeah, it's very high. So again, I'm going to go over all of that based on the last one year. It is up 11.95%. So this has gone a lot of popularity over the last little bit. Um, 2024 up 5.86%. This is what they are all about. So once again, just pause it, read through it, whatever else, but it does show 101.19% of the free float is being shorted 19.47 million shares overall are being shorted and 30.75 thousand shares um, were increased on Friday. Cost of borrow average as well is 34.39%. Utilization is 100%. Just to rule it out, I just wanted to show you this because again, if there is a reverse stock split that does happen, usually that does affect the Ortex numbers quite significantly, kind of ruling them pointless. And as you can kind of see, Bolero has never done any splits. So definitely, I don't know, take this with a grain of salt. 101% short interest is unforeseen. And this could be maybe the next big squeeze play or it there might be some other aspect behind the scenes, such as maybe a share count change that is really skewing numbers behind the scenes as well. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Of course, as I've shown you in the past, like looking right here, this is where I kind of grab all of my information from. And you can kind of see based on the estimated short interest, there is quite a lot of companies that is kind of showing that there's around 800, 700, 300% short interest. This is why I do vet a lot of these companies because a lot of these basically have done reverse stock splits so i think b riley like there's like very little stocks in the top higher percentile that i've actually used because all of them have done reverse stock splits so again i've kind of done some due diligence behind the scenes but still you guys do a little bit further um, if need be but moving on to my bonus stock though it is sun power corporation tickers spwr on friday it went up 10.84 percent over the last one year it is down 76.98 percent and on i guess 2024 down 25.88 percent this is what they are all about, as you can kind of see right here. And this company is on this list largely because of there being a lot of naked shorting, a very apparent naked shorting that is happening because the short interest is significantly higher than the amount that is on loan, which again is a good indication that there is a lot of naked shorting. So with this company on Friday, shorts returned about 200,000 shares, 36.52% of the free flow is being shorted, 31.65 million shares overall are being shorted and cost of borrow average is 3.24%. Utilization is 81.36 and through interactive broker short availability does indicate around 15,000 shares is available to be shorted. So let me know your thoughts on these five plus one bonus stocks. Is there any other stocks that you feel could be a squeeze play for this upcoming week and why? So throw your tickers in the description below. But one final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Killer promo, link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.